Okay, folks, guess what made it here? Finally, months and months and months. One day short of six months waiting, and they showed up. Come inside, take you for a ride. Hey, I think you're really cool. I like you a lot. Maybe we can hang out or something. Hey, I think you're really cool. I like you a lot. Maybe we can hang out or something. Okay. So, I had, I, I have bought, purchased, received a wireless. Sorry about jerking you around. I'm driving and just know that my hand is moving, but I don't know how badly. Um, so yeah, I bought a wireless microphone and um, did a test recording and there was no sound being recorded. So obviously don't know what the hell I'm doing. Um, except for I do know this. I uh, am on my way to the post office because I'm a, uh, I have a informed delivery deal. I don't know, probably everybody has it, where it will tell you exactly what's being delivered to you that day. And yesterday, I received notification and from tracking uh, when Better Safe Radio, BSR, shipped my Wuxan Ocean radios on the 18th or created the shipping label, I have been getting a steadily, steady stream of delivery updates. And steadily along, they kept saying that it was on time to be delivered yesterday by 9 o'clock. Well, um, long story short, I started looking at the reporting and a little backstory. I used to live in Southern California for 30 years, so very similar, it's close to that, either in the Marine Corps or otherwise. So very familiar uh, where locations are. I know exactly where this guy's business is in Long Beach. So back in the days of the Thomas Brothers maps. What? That dated me. Anyways, the tracking thing said that it was uh, on time to deliver point of origin, Carson, California. Now Carson, California uh, is probably the distance between Buford and Bluffton uh, here in South Carolina. It's not that far. And this was the 23rd. So without jumping the gun, I'm gonna go do my due diligence and find out what the hell happened. The only thing I can think is that somebody redirected the package. There's absolutely zero reason that it should have taken the 19th, 20, 21, 22, 23, five days to go 12, 13 miles. Uh, and now they don't know when it's going to deliver. So the only thing I can figure out is that, like I said, somebody redirected the package and um, it is what it is. So I will jump back on here. I can bring my cell phone into the post office, but this one has got some weird rules. Like if I ship something and I don't feel like uh, writing down or typing in the barcode, usually I can just scan it. Like if I go to uh, the UPS store, I scan the packaging and get grab the barcode and it applies it and notifies the, the payer that, uh, that the thing is in the custody of the post office. Um, and on its way. 
the, this post office will not allow you to do that. It, no taking pictures inside the post office. I, so, I will be able to bring my phone in only without the tripod, without microphones, with any of that stuff. Not that the microphones are doing a damn bit of good, but I will come back and everybody will be brought up to date on what the status is. I fully expect a lot of people to give me dumb, blank, drooling expressions and say, well, we don't know. Wow, that's odd. I've got even money that that's the answer I'm going to get. And I'll keep you updated. I'll be back shortly. Okay. Well, surprise, surprise. I was 100% joyously right. They have no idea why it's in a ground loop back to Carson. They have no reason. I don't know where it's at. They don't know anything. Gee, we don't know. Call 1-800-ASK-USPS. And in case anybody doesn't have an alphanumeric keypad or the ability to figure out what the alphanumeric actual phone number is uh, off of 1-800-ASK-USPS. That's 1-800-222-1811. If you just dial those digits, you will get put into an automated system that supposedly allows you to track your package or create a case put a trace on it as soon as I get home so I can focus and get my blood pressure back down I will uh, endeavor to do that what a glorious day to be an American in the information age the U.S. Post Office is incapable of with scan data. Tell me where it's at. The system is not intelligent enough to input how it was redirected to Carson, California. Only that it is headed that way. dangerous area right here where seasoned citizens make the unilateral decision that they will just launch themselves out into a crosswalk that has no stop lights no stop signs at the intersection and it is one of the main thoroughfares May River Road downtown Bluffton and they'll just walk right out in front of you and they don't care now, okay, I'm not even debating that they have the right of way. I'm not even debating you shouldn't turn them into speed bumps. I'm not even debating that. That's generally a bad idea. But what I am debating is the wisdom You know, it'd be like them getting hit by a car and saying but I'm a pedestrian, I hit right away. But you're dead. Who cares if you hit right away? Common sense. I don't know. I am becoming more and more and more and more baffled by this entire thing. It's insane. 
All right, enough yakking, yammering. Let me get home. I've got a WebEx meeting I gotta be on. It was a great little uh, detour from reality into the uh, hostile world of the US Postal Service. And the ineptitude of Better Safe Radio to get my devices sent to me in a timely manner. The sweet smell and taste of battery acid. Good morning. Uh, this is a couple days later, and after chasing around the mail, the post office, uh, it would appear that they had, in fact, dilly-dallied, shipped it back and forth between three or four different warehouses or regional distribution centers in California, and just got the UPS tracking alert that said that it had finally arrived it went to Columbia, South Carolina, to Charleston, to now to the Bluffton Menagerie. So, as I'm sitting here to let my car warm up and moving my deal around, and a thought came to my mind that I thought I'd share with you. I had went out and purchased a while ago, like two years ago, a Sennheiser MX200 microphone and it came with a tripod, a clamp for a phone and then a cold shoe, the adapters to plug it into an iPhone, blah 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 blah. Well the last couple videos I was using that microphone and not realizing until I started, I, I sat down and I actually watched them, I just ran them through iMovie um, stitched a couple of them together that needed to be stitched. Uh, I look my normal retarded self and went out about my business. And then I went back and listened to, actually watched them, and I'm like, you can't hear what I'm saying. What the hell? So, I may have mentioned that before. I have ordered a wireless mic that plugs in the receiver plugs in the bottom of the iPhone and then it's a lapel mic what I didn't realize was the Sennheiser MX200 is a very very sensitive super sensitive directional mic the problem is I was pointing it in the wrong direction I had assumed that since the wire very easily flips over the front of the screen that uh, you would want it I, I just mistakenly had the mic point in the wrong direction that's why you could hear birds and stuff like that just crystal clear but you couldn't hear anything I was saying that would be the cause of that so supposedly today the Wuxan UV 9 Pro And I don't know, whatever it is that this dude, I would note that it is six months from the day I ordered it, not eight plus weeks. So more on that later. Okay, this is the two Waxon cases that I had purchased. Uh, to carry the walks on radios this one has the UV 935 and the UV 8H in that one um, I think I did a review on those this one is going to carry the two
UV 9GX and UV 9PX ham radios. Um, as irritated as I've been about these things taking forever to show up, I would say that the gentleman packed the devices very thoroughly, very, very well, shipped them, and finally, after them being bounced all over the continental U.S., I finally got them. One of the things that I'm curious about is I have a spare battery over there in that case and I know it fits either one of those two radios. I'm wondering if it would also fit these. The other thing that I have, if that's the case, then I also have the Wuxon battery eliminator which is not going to focus ever because that's just how it rolls. Look at that right there. And the handheld mic, which actually is kind of a, I mean, it's not the cheap piece of crap that it is normally with the bow fangs. And believe me, I, I get it. Oh, and then this one is also a plug-in but it is directly I think it's so that you can plug them into the base and charge them so that's for that this has the radio and battery whip antenna the device charger charger power supply this one has the cable and the small antenna. I forget what it was. 5 8 wave, 3 8 quarter wave, whatever it was. They were inside there and uh, very positive, um, well packaged, well put together product. This is not going to be so much a product review it's just a online follow-up to my angst of being so long and being delivered and the reason that I have angst any reason the only reason I have any issues is when I ordered these July 27th today is January 26th and I just got them so it's the end of the day and um, that's one day short of six months and it was quoted as predicted or estimated as eight plus weeks when I initially ordered them and my angst has been and solely about eight plus weeks is not six months I'm sorry so Give me your comments below. Um, I don't know that I want to completely bash on this guy because they are, you know, uh, unless something untowards, I, it would shock me if there was anything wrong with the radios. It truly would. Um, but beyond that, my only complaint is the time. So give me your comments below and um, give me what your thoughts on are um, on how hard I had to go on this guy. No, you know what, I don't really want anybody to give me an opinion that I ought to be, well, it's your own opinion, but whatever. Got them, and at some point, after I get them unpackaged and put in there, and these are hard cases, by the way. Um, sorry about the shadows. And they are Wuxin hard cases and the chargers and the case and all the other accoutrement that is not going to go that is just taking up too much space in there are gonna go in that bag right there so 
I'll have a GMPR um, S radio, GMRS radio, and a ham radio in each pouch, hard case. So, thanks for watching. If you think about it, give me a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me two thumbs down, dislikes. Uh, consider subscribing and go out and be nice to somebody. Uh, make it a great day. Those are the cases for the... Uh... Do you think there's an issue there? I don't know. I'm thinking there might be an issue. Because there's nine, thirteen more that... Well, plus these four. So yeah, I got issues. So anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day.